Hey guys, it's Marty here, and today I want to talk to you about the importance of this show right here. I've been killing slimes for 300 years and maxed out my level. Yeah, it's a real mouthful, and from its imagery and title, it would lead you to think that it's just another of many saturated copy-paste isekais that we, the anime community, have come to expect at least 10 of a season. And you'd be right to think that, because... what? Well, it is somewhat. I recently picked up the series for something casual and easy to watch while I ignore my backlog queue of anime. My apologies to Full Metal Alchemist, Jujutsu Kaisen, Attack on Titan, Promise Neverland, and Death Note. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, I recently finished the series, and for the most part, it was pretty generic and an easy watch. However, its premise and morals are what are important here. Let me explain. From the get-go, the show highlights its most important theme, which is the importance of not overworking yourself. For those of you who don't know, a rather big problem in Japan, and now increasingly becoming rather apparent in many other parts of the world, overworking has been proven to cause poor mental health and physical health, and in some serious cases, literally being worked to death. In Japanese, this is known as Kuroshi. The fact that this has its own word is a worrying thing to say. What this anime does brilliantly, especially in its first episode, is nail into the viewer's head the importance of taking a break when work is getting too much. Stop what you're doing, go on vacation, do that hobby you've always wanted to do, which our main protagonist Azusa does after her unfortunate death. No, it wasn't that classic truck coon who killed Azusa and transported her to a fancy world, but in fact, Kuroshi death by overworking in her 20s. When given the chance to reincarnate in another world, Azusa decides she wants to leave a much quieter, stress-free life. Even after starting her own harem of various dragon girls, twin slime girls, a demon lord, and an elf trying to sell her own brand of energy drink, she sees the opportunity to obtain free labour from them, doing house chores, cooking, cleaning, etc. I mean, who wouldn't? But her being a morally sound person, she doesn't. Instead, when one in particular like her, her red dragon companion, tries to take on huge workloads, she is immediately shut down by Azusa and taught the importance of never overdoing it and killing yourself over your job. So in conclusion, although this Izakai about a former office worker now reincarnated as an overpowered witch, wears the skin of a generic 6 out of 10 Izakai, its themes and messages are incredibly important in the modern world. If you're looking for a casual 12 episode isekai to blast through in a day, I would recommend this show. That's all from me, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, we've been absolutely doing amazing recently and we've had such good growth on the channel, so let's keep that going. It truly means a lot and it tells me you guys enjoy this content I'm putting out. Anyway that's me, until next time.